Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Rahel and I'm so excited. I am about to show you how I recreated this gorgeous Nia Long inspired 90s look. This video is sponsored by Boxum. Thank you so much Boxum. I actually used all Boxum products for my eyeshadow and for my lip and they just came out with a new line which is the Full Force Plumping Lipstick 90s Nudes. These are six new shades which are all nudes, full coverage satin lipsticks with hyaluronic acid and conditioning oils in them and they help actually make your lip look visibly plumper and gives you I'm just gonna swatch all the shades real quick on my arm. We have Fly Girl here as the peachy beige, which is so cute and like super smooth. We have Heartthrob as the light warm. Supermodel is the rose nude. Love that also. Mm. We have Popstar here as the cinnamon brown. Dreamboat is the toffee nude and angel as the rich brown and i love how different all these shades are so it makes it easier for all of us to find our shade and i'm going to show you the three last ones on my lips but yes i just love how creamy and actually hydrating these lipsticks feel on your lip um yeah let's get back to the video and i can show you how i recreated my look and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i am going to create more looks because i really really had fun doing that i'm also going to create more videos in general all the products that i use will be in the description box down below so make sure you check that out if you are interested in purchasing one or two of these nudies enjoy I already have my foundation on and the base for this look because I want to focus on the eyeshadow and the lip, of course. If you want me to do a video about my base, let me know in the comment section and I will do so. Let's start with the recreation of the look. Um, Nia has a beautiful, beautiful short cut. I would say it's a pixie cut, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pixie cut, um, which she laid down. I'm not going to straight my hair, but I'm using definitely going to use lots of gel for this. And I have to like kind of tie my hair in the back because I have longer hair than she has. But we here for it, and we here for a little scam, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave out some hair in the front to swoop it later on with some gel. And I'm going to use the Echo Styler for my gel to swoop down the hair. Yeah, I'm swooping it twice and the gel is in, it's crazy how good it works like for my hair. Voila. Looks cute. Oh my God, don't I look like Elvis Presley? Wow, I'm do that. No, that's not even him. I'm just gonna swoop this forward to get that swoopy look that Mrs. Long is rocking in this picture. Since I have longer hair than this look requires, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this hair and then roll it up into this little, I guess, twist or twist it up and we'll just pin that down. Ooh, oh my god, obsessed. Oh my god, I love this. I'm actually laying my hair down right now to <clears throat> make sure that they look sleek and nice for the look at the end. This is the Boxum customizable eyeshadow palette and it comes empty obviously, but I chose these six eyeshadows for my look, um, for Nia Long's look. And I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow palette because I know for a fact I will use this so much more than just for this look. It's very neutral, you know, brown tones. There's a black for like, you know, a smoky vibe. Um, you know, matte looks and matte eyeshadows. I have uh, two sh shimmery ones. And yeah, just overall, I love this palette that I was able to create. I'm going to link all the shades in my description box, obviously. Definitely, I'm going to start off with Invite Only and tap that on my eyelid. Yeah. Oh, I like that. That looks good. 
I have my base. Now I am going to go in with, what is that color? Something darker, but not too dark. Should I do the black first? No, let me do this brownish color first. Going in with star treatment and getting that in my crease. And I really like how that looks. Gives us smoky. Now I'm gonna be using Satin Seduction to tap on my lid as well to give a little more dimension. Actually, I'm gonna do this with my hand. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, we're getting there. So now I am going to tackle the eyeliner. The eyeshadows are very pigmented. I really like that. I like that they're very smooth and pigmented. We love it. Okay, cute. And I'm going to tap in a little bit of the LBD with this brush up here to hopefully get this ombre look. Yeah, this is coming out cute. Okay. Makeup artist, that's what I am, okay? So now I'm gonna tap in some of Satin Seduction on here, on, my, on below my eyebrow. Yes, this is coming out, Kayoud. Love that for us. For my mascara, I'm gonna use the Waterproof Lash Mascara from Boxum. This is the first time I'm using this mascara and I really like it. And I don't know about y'all, but I think it's so hard to find a good mascara lately, nowadays, ever. This is definitely helping my, my three lashes to look like more than three. I'm definitely going to correct this part and sharpen up the eyeshadow look with some concealer. And now we're getting to the star of this show, which is the lip. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Plump Liner Lip Liner from Boxum in the color Undercover. What I really like about these lip liners is that they are really, really creamy and pigmented, so you can actually use it just by itself or you could have it as a base. So I'm going to actually use a lip liner as my base and another lip liner as a lip liner. Nice. And now I'm gonna use the Full Force Plumping Lipstick in 90s Nudes in the color Pop Star. So I'm gonna use that all over my lips. And ooh, the color is so gorgeous. And gives literally super full coverage and i love that love that for me so the lipstick does have hyaluronic acid and conditioning oils and that is to help make your lips look visibly plumper and it does really give you like this tingly feeling i really do like how creamy this looks we love that and it's also supposed to be long lasting and non ashy. For a more 90 look, I wanna just outline my lips with a darker color and then like just you know, brush it in a little bit. So I'm gonna use the Plump Line Lip Liner again in another color though, in the color Espionage. I'm sure I didn't say it right, but who's gonna judge? Who's gonna check me? Who's gonna check me? You gonna check me? I'm just gonna, yeah, line it slightly. Ooh, I love that. I'm just gonna use a little more. I'm obsessed with this color. Oh my God, I love it. And it does feel super, super smooth. Very creamy and minty. Will I ruin the look with a lip gloss? I don't think so. And I'm gonna use Boxum's full-on lip polish. It is the color Gabby, 
which is like this really cute purple shimmery lip gloss and I'm just going to add that on to my lip ooh this is gorgeous mm. Mm -mm -mm. let's see and check out how it came out ooh wow oop looking like an old man missing some part of their toupee I go I I am obsessed comment down below if you like this look and if you think I nailed it because I think I did nail it obviously I'm going to link everything down in the description box below thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon bye